Welcome back, everybody. Let's play Drawn to Life Special Edition. So, we're not exactly in Rock Bottom anymore. We're in Flying Dutchman's ship. Which, hey, it's actually something from the show. I'll, I'll take it. Reminds me quite a bit of Provincial Flying Dutchman for the GBA. So, I guess I just have to crawl under that. Patrick, can you do something about that thing, please? Nope. Okay, cool. Undead. Oh, they probably come back up too. They're like dry bones. Okay, cool. Dry bones is exactly what I think of. I think of SpongeBob, but that's fine too. Oh, come on, really? Okay, so I need a glove that I don't have. So, well, I can't break with the net. That's a little unfortunate. Well, now I really want to. Darn, I really want to get in there. And so the very beginning of the level too. If I can't get anything from these guys, I think I actually will just restart the level with the glove in my inventory. It's interesting, I seem to get money for these guys every time I hit them. Oh man, these things dance around. Yeah, I think I'll just head on back and buy... a glove. This will actually finally prove useful. It's all sold out, I I'm meaning I already have it. Yes, it's like I'm seeing this money on much of anything else anyways. Alright, off we go, back to the fun. The fun's very far away. Okay. Oh, no. Alright. Now we should be able to do as we wish. Eh. Alright, so nobody's dropping anything helpful now. But what I can do Super Mario World style is so that. She gives me money and a life, but that's all there is to it. Oh well. And this doesn't count as a secret, I don't believe. I believe it's only doors that we actually walk into that count as secrets. Hey. Ooh, that's an interesting one. I don't have any use for it right now, I don't believe, but... I'll hold on to it. So I wonder if these guys have a chance to drop... Yeah, I think these guys have a chance to drop items every single time you hit them. So you can probably just grind them for items if you really want to. Which is awesome. Hmm. Okay, more weird references. So, I'm reminded of the invisible platforms, quote unquote invisible. From... Of all things. Hey, this isn't the first time I've referenced that game, actually. From Kororimpa. Or for that series, I suppose. Because I have drawn the candy ball from that, which is from the first game, and now I'm going to draw new visible platforms from the second game. Do I even want to have the outline? I'm not sure I do. So the invisible platform state in that game was basically they were totally invisible for the most part, but every few seconds they would just Every few seconds, they would just shine white. Have a white shine cross over them. No. So, I have a big thick shine effect here. Another smaller one here. Ah, stop that! Kind of like that. I mean, it's a different take on things. It's not like a pretty platform, but it's something. I'll take it. It's a quick and easy idea, and it's a nice little reference to things. 
Yeah, so in a way, it's like it is at least vaguely like what happened in uh, Marble Saga. I already want to play that game again. Darn it! It's interesting. I can just stand and just grab onto the wall where there's not really a wall there. Hey, come on, man. I swear, this guy has less range than Shante. It's not something to be proud of. Up. Oh. Okay, come on. Okay. That's some super... <laughs> some new Super Mario Bros. type stuff there. Managing to recover from that with a wall jump. But I'll happily accept it. Back up we go. Stop that, you. You too. It's really awkward though, because Shantae at least attacked quickly. In this game, you attack slowly and with horrible range. So you actually have to time your attacks really well too to hit things. It can be very bothersome. Oh man. So I want to stay down here, not this down here, I mean over here down here. Alright, so nothing there of interest. If you're on off to the left, what do we have in, does the world have in store for us? Ah, a child. Why does the Dutchman have a child anyways? Go home, kid. Yeah! Take that! Okay, well, I'll take that, I guess. Not that, though. But that actually brought me forward, so whatever. Death Warp! Now, up again. Ah, I was trying to stand on his head. At least bounce off it. Shoot. Why are these flames not green, though? Like, isn't green flame supposed to be a Flying Dutchman's thing? That's why all the lighting here is green. Hey. And yet, blue flames are what's popping up everywhere. Does this guy shoot stuff? No, he just spawns more enemies. Okay. Okay, I'm hitting this guy multiple times, and he is not demonstrating the proper concern for his well-being. I'm drawing on him. There we go. And I expected a chrono blob. Okay. Ah! I was trying. I was trying to pick up. Try to pick up the boots, but or the shoes, but it didn't quite happen. Okay, so this is this goo is a oh, goo. I also caught goo. These scribbles are actually broke up into two sections. That's interesting. Well, I can take care of it from here, then all the better. So that Chrono Blob is stomping, but he doesn't actually help me out in any capacity, which I question. Same for that Motobug. Whatever it's called. Oh, is, are those called Motobugs? I don't quite recall. I was never very clear on the names of enemies in the Sonic games. They tend not to be very notable. Aside from Caterkiller, that one's the easy one to remember for some reason. No idea why. There you go. I could slide along this. Okay, right. off we go. Spikes, awesome. This one should need some repairs, man. It just splintered stuff everywhere. Although, I guess it was just freshly vandalized, wasn't it? Guess that explains that. Thank you! Oh. That didn't really help. Let's try that again. So the threat from below overcame me when the threat from above could not. Okay, this is dumb. Stupid slippery stuff. It's like rock bottom. Except 
not rock bottom. Why did that have it, such a huge section card and slippery stuff? I forgot about that. Why is this a purple? What source of purple things is there in this level? I don't know of any. Nah. But some other party randomly vandalizing everything that Spongebob had some relation to. It does remind me quite a bit of Balcony Bottom. Of course, Flying Dutchman also made quite an appearance in that game as well. This is kind of a nice reminder. Why can't I stand on that? It feels like I, that rope looks a lot like the rope I've stood I've been standing on up until now. Okay. Spike shoes. I was just wondering moments ago as I saw this. I was I was I was walking on those spikes just now. I was wondering if I'd be able to find anything that would let me to walk on things like this. Got a good get a good grip on slippery surfaces, that's awesome too. But I don't know if they really have any kind of shoes in mind. I don't recall any other game I play that has any kind of power up vaguely like this one. Nor do I think of any game where, where anybody has any kind of um, shoes that have spikes in them. I feel like I do, though. But nothing comes to mind. That's weirding me out. The closest I can think of are snow tires. In a ra particular racing game. And you know what? Maybe I'll do that. Maybe Doodle, Bob, maybe Doodle Pants just needs snow tires. pretty good. Duh. Of course, it's hard to fix now because it's in trouble I expect it to. Okay. I'll draw the rest of that by hand. I mean, with the, uh, this stuff. Alright, so now you want one smaller portion because these are tires. Come on. No! Oh man, you know I need to make a reference to it at some point? Now I think about it, it's a game that hasn't ever popped up on my channel. I don't know, I'll probably just uh, wait to say anything about it. I'll try to keep it, keep it, keep it in mind actually draw something from that particular game that just came to mind. That worked out, I guess. Something like that. Smaller than it needed to be, but I'll take it. Okay, so now... I need the spikes. Unevenly placed spike so far, but of course, ideally they would actually go whoop, all over. The wheels, but that's not really going to happen with the way things are because I can't have spikes on the right here, unfortunately. Very evenly distributed either, but I'll take what I can get. Okay. Just fill these in, and we'll be good. We have some snow tires. Which basically just have a bunch of spikes in them. Maybe eventually you'll be able to get Doodle Pants a new engine, too. In any case. There we go. So I'll be that for this episode. Let's play Drone Life Edition. I'll see you guys next time. Next episode, when we try out our new 
snow tires. It's beautiful. Bye, guys.